This video is going to be talking about a series that has very dark themes that involve force, assault, depression, as well as anxiety. So if that is not for you, then please check out all my other videos. Then that's down. Yeah. Hey guys, it's your girl. And if there's one thing I know about the anime community is that everybody knows about yandere's. And in fact, I think everybody has a little soft spot for them. I mean, it's a common trope in fiction like anime and manga for a reason. Something about a person being so obsessed with you that they don't want to look at anybody else and just kind of focus on you to a really creepy degree really just gets... It just gets people off. And Yandere fans, when they even get a sniff of Yandere, they are head over heels. I mean, for example, that girl, Yuka Takaoka, who tried murdering her boyfriend because she loved him so much, became an instant sensation online because she was a real life Yandere. Which is really kind of weird that people made jokes about that because she literally tried to kill a guy. And I'm not dunking on Yandere lovers, okay? I also have a soft pension for Yandere men. I mean, if you look at the mods on my Stardew Valley folder, it's mostly Yandere dialogue and Yandere characters. Characters. Don't judge me! I have a need that needs to be fulfilled! But I think the more realistic of us all would know that if we saw a Yandere in real life, we would be running the f*** away. There's no way in hell I'm gonna want to end up with somebody who's stalking me, calling me a million times a day, who just does a lot of random shit because they are so obsessed with me that they're kind of ruining my life. But I don't think anime and manga really show the reality of that. Until recently. There's a manga series that I've been a fan of for years, but is constantly on hiatus. That is called Kimi ni Aisarete Itakata. Which means I wanted to be hurt by your love. Now, I came across this manga because I love psychological manga. My top three tags that I always look up for manga is psychological, horror, and food. For, you know, because I love food manga. And I especially love dark, realistic manga because it, fix, it, it, it scratches this itch inside of me. So when I came across this, I knew I would love it. And it scratched that itch but it scratched it a little too well. And we'll be getting into it, all right? But before we begin, I'd like to give thanks to today's sponsor, Private Internet Access VPN. Now we all know a good VPN is a must if we're gonna be using the internet. But if there's one VPN being recommended to me by my tech savvy friends, it's Pia VPN. Pia encrypts all of the traffic coming from your device, so it hides any of your personal information, online purchases, the like, so that your internet service provider doesn't have access to it and is able to track it or potentially block it. And because you're able to change your IP address, aka your address, you are able to access more TV shows and movies from all across all streaming services. So if you live in somewhere like the UK, you can be able to access American Netflix. Pia VPN is rated as one of the best VPNs globally. It has over 30 million users, as well as 4.6 star rating on Trustpilot. If you go to my special URL, which is piavpn.com slash sidsnap, you will get 83% off plus four months free. And if you decide that Pia VPN isn't for you, they'll give you your money back. Thank you again to Pia VPN for this sponsor, and now back to the video. The story begins with our main character, Kanai, who is a girl who's trying to blend in with the popular girls in her high school, but is having a really hard time doing so because she was severely bullied in middle school. She can't ever really be herself due to being a walking cliche of anxiety and depression, so after school she kind of resorts to prostitution in order to relieve herself, to relieve the stress and some pent up anger and the like. It's her way of releasing aggression and feeling wanted. In her home life, her school life, and you know, her friendships, Nobody really kind of likes her. However, she comes to meet a popular baseball player named Hiroshi and instantly likes him. She knows she likes him and he likes her too. But unfortunately, Kanai's friend also likes Hiroshi, which leads to a very not great road when you're dealing with a mentally unstable girl like Kanai. And that essentially is the beginning of our tragedy. Now, the reason why it is not going to be a great lane for everybody involved is Kanai, yes, like I said, she's not mentally stable and she definitely does not handle it the best. So when she finds an obstacle in her way towards something that she finds, you know, she needs, like she feels with Hiroshi, he gives her everything that she can't get anywhere else. He likes her, he, he makes her feel accepted and you know, he makes her feel special. So when she finds out her friend likes him as well and is trying to do anything to get him, she, yeah, it is the beginning of a lot of terrible things, a lot of things she does. And a really good showcase, the, 
one of the things she does towards her friend. Now, if you are triggered by forced copulation, then you should not read this manga because there's already a lot of dark themes, but there's an especially graphic scene where Kanai essentially pays a group of thugs to assault the girl who likes Hiroshi in order to leave her so traumatized that she is out of the way. Yeah, that's really f***ed up. And that is only the beginning of what Kanai does in order to secure Hiroshi. Because she only wants Hiroshi, even at the cost of ruining his own life, and there's nobody that can get in the way of that. And although we as the readers are able to see this kind of immediately, it's kind of scary to the fact that nobody else in the story does see it. She acts like your typical normal high school girl, happy, you know, go lucky, and nobody really sees the inner darkness that's in her, except us because we are obviously the reader. Which just goes to show another realistic point is that not everybody gets to see who is really what. You know, it's not as obvious in anime when somebody's like a yandere or mentally unstable, unless it's happening to you. Sometimes they act very normal on the outside, but not really towards others. And this manga encapsulates that so, so, so well. We'll see Kanai do the most deranged things. Like she will be doing classic stalker things like sending hundreds of messages to Hiroshi, trying to call him, trying to say if he doesn't answer, she's gonna do something to herself. But everybody around her just sees her as a normal girl because she acts like it, they don't know. And that's one thing that's definitely grating is that, hey, we know. And that's one of the things that is so jarring in this manga, as well as with the dark ambience, is that everybody is still so kind to her. They just see her, yeah, this is any other girl. And all of that kind of leads to the fact that this is probably, yeah, the most realistic depiction of a real-life yandere that I've ever read. Except for the fact that nobody ever really notices her doing creepy shit. Like, you gain some annoyance with the guy Hiroshi because she's the one doing all of this to him. It's like a snowball effect. A lot of things are happening to a lot of people, but she's clearly the one actively pursuing and stalking him. And he just kind of doesn't see it that way. He sees it as like, you know, she's somebody who needs help and he can fix her. He had friends before that clearly, but seeing Kanai kind of and how she treats Hiroshi, when they try warning him, Hiroshi just starts lashing out and then the process starts losing them. He has dreams that are taken away. I'm not gonna explain how because that's spoilers. It's because of Kanai's interference. Like his life and everything he had, it's essentially, it's done. I mean, he's a naive 16 year old kid, but I mean, it's also like, I think he, I mean, at the age of 16, you could probably be like, I don't think this is normal. And don't get this twisted as well because I think this manga, you're supposed to hate the main character. You're supposed to hate Kanai. Even though there's chapters where she redeems herself in some way, shape, or form, she kind of really doesn't keep up with that considering she does so much f***ed up things towards other people more so. There's a lot of repressed anger, lack of self-esteem, lack of confidence, and she pushes it all onto one person as, you know, people do tend to do that if they're not mentally well, which is of course how stalkers begin, how obsessive love acts actually begins. You just don't want to f*** around with it. Like, listen, in anime, the girls or the guys are gonna love you. They're gonna be completely obsessed with you. They're gonna get jealous. They're gonna be... It's essentially every aspect that is commonly wanted in a relationship times 11. But in reality, it's going to be creepy. It's gonna be gross and it's going to be overwhelmingly toxic. It's going to cost you everything. It's going to potentially lead you down a path that you will never recover from. And that's one thing that this manga just, it does so well. Kanai constantly does such f up things like paying people to do things for her or Hiroshi in order to secure that he only needs her. And she's never going to recover from that. She's too far down the lane. Honestly, from my estimation, neither is Hiroshi. He's never going to maintain a normal life again. And I think that's pretty obvious because literally the first page of the manga, I'm not gonna give spoilers, something, it's, it shows something that's very dark that's supposed to take place at the ending of the manga. You know, kind of one of those manga series. So although Kanai isn't your typical description of a yandere, I think 100% she is the most realistic one. She is someone who's unhealthily attached and incredibly unstable. She is somebody who will ruin your life and not in a cute, sexy anime way, but literally she, you're never gonna recover. Either way, this is just a small video I wanted to do talking about this series. It is very dark and depraved, so if that is not for you, please do not read it. It's not gonna, it's not comedic at all. It's also constantly on hiatus. The author, he usually does hentai, and obviously hentai is not nearly as long. You know, it's not a 
story continuously usually. So if you're patient and hopefully we will get to see the end of this, I would check it out. Either way, thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are thinking about supporting this channel, then please type in this link here or check out the link in my description because it is right there. Thank you again to our sponsors and thank you again to my patrons. I'll see you guys later. Ta-da!